I love stuff like this because it's just what the SAT does best. They ask something extremely simple. They add a little bit of a twist into it and it's easy. It's easy to spot, but people are still going to fall for it. So let me show you what I mean. In triangle ABC, the measure of angle A is 54 degrees, the measure of angle B is 90 degrees, and the measure of angle C is K over 2 degrees. What is the value of K? So, even without drawing the triangle, we know there are 180 degrees in a triangle. That is in the College Board's reference chart for every math question if you need it, but you really should remember that there's 180 degrees in a triangle. That's like fundamental math, like 2 plus 3 is 5 kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, moving along, let's just take out the angles that we don't want. So let's get rid of this 90, right? So that leaves us with 90 left, and let's get rid of that 54. And that one I'm going to go to the, cal the calculator for because I just am a little nervous always of a careless mistake. So that leaves 36, and that is the value of the C, right? So angle C is 36, and what do you know? That's an answer choice because they know that every time you are asked about triangle angles, you are asked to find the missing one, and you just do some subtraction like I did and you're done. But we haven't accomplished the mission. The mission is what's the value of K? And they purposely made the angle kind of a little unrelated to the, or I guess convoluted compared to the, the thing we're solving for. So we have to do, a, I guess, a little mini equation here that 36, uh, let's do it down here, 36 is equal to K over two. So I'm actually surprised that 18 is not an answer here. If I were writing this question, I would have put 18 as an answer because some people, they're gonna have a little wire cross in their brain. They're gonna go 36 divided by two is 18. That's the value of K. But no, we have to multiply both sides by two and now we get K is 72. So not, not hard. Again, th this is a twist because it's taking something conventional and adding a little extra something to it just to see if you're paying attention. But this is not a hard thing to do many of you are just going to forget to do it. And, and it's because you are not used to what the SAT is trying to do. It's testing your ability to, to solve math questions for sure, but it's also testing your ability to follow instructions and to read instructions and to look out for traps. And if you can't work that into your process, you will not succeed on the SAT. You have to be thinking about traps. You have to notice when they're doing stuff like this, and you have to make sure that you fight your instinct to just get that first answer that feels like the answer, that mission accomplished, mission accomplished answer. You got to read the question and give them exactly what they're asking for.